<coughs> okay, let's get into uh, cubic. So we're going to solve <coughs> this. x cubed minus 6x squared plus 7x plus 4 equals 0. I came up with this equation myself so that it would have nice numbers and that took a lot of effort to do. You saw how complicated the formulas were, so making everything work, difficult. So we've got A, B and C there. First thing we do, we let x equal y minus a third a. Alright, so we've got x here, we make a substitution. If we have x is equal to y minus a third a, so that's x equals y plus 2 for this particular one, and then we substitute, then we get that equation, which doesn't look like much of an improvement. Okay, now to solve that, well obviously we've got some expanding to do. The cubic one gets the binomial theorem treatment, perfect square there, basic, basic. If we expand bit by bit, we get, there's our cubic part, there's our quadratic part, there's our linear part and our constant. What do you notice? Two things to notice. One important, one not. Y squared's gone. Y squared's gone. That was the point. That's always possible. Okay? That substitution <coughs> of uh, x equals y minus a third a will always get rid of the quadratic term. So out of the mist arises the depressed cubic equation. Okay? <coughs> so now we've got this. We started with that, we made a substitution, we did the expanding and simplifying, we got that. Is that any better? They were two graphs side by side. It didn't occur to me until quite recently that, of course, one's just a translation of the other. Alright? We've just, we've shifted it by We've shifted it to the right by a third A. Alright? Uh, and A was negative in this case, so we've shifted it left. So there's the original, there's our new one. And so that means if we can solve the red one, we can solve the purple one. Alright? Now in history, people weren't graphing these things. People didn't even have negative numbers. Coordinate geometry was yet to arrive. So this talk is blending historical and modern ideas. Alright? And I need to apologise, I've done a lot of research on this, not primary research, but just reading various things. Um, I build up an idea in my mind and then I read something that contradicts something and yeah, so I can't promise that everything is historically accurate, um, but I do believe it's more important to be interesting than correct. <laughs>